Hey, what is up guys? It's Blue Piccolo. Welcome to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to get that 7th Dragon Ball. And we're going to summon the Purunga Dragon together and talk about the wishes. I'm going to be telling you what I think are the best 3 wishes. Yes, you heard me. 3 wishes that I think you should be getting from this first set of Dragon Balls. Now, there will be 3 sets of Dragon Balls. This is only the first one. Uh, so there will be a lot more wishes to come. Of course, you can always make the same wishes. You can pick something else the next time. But I'm going to be telling you my opinion and why I think these three wishes are the best out of the set. You'll be you'll have seven wishes to choose from. It is really uh, overwhelming. Uh, <clears throat> so before we begin, let's just talk quickly, go through how to get the first six Dragon Balls, just in case you didn't do that already. Um, so here's the list of... All of the Dragon Balls that are in the game and how to get them. So the first one was uh, daily training. All you, all you had to do is just train a character. The tips for these ones were really uh, direct. They tell you exactly uh, what to do. Um, so it really isn't that hard. But just let, let's just go through these. If there's any kind of confusion, how to get them. If you skipped a day or two, it, it isn't a problem at all. You can go back and get the additional Dragon Balls. So number two is find the button for switching between quests and events on the home screen. So basically you had to go uh, into the main screen and just flip the switch quest and event a few times the Dragon Ball would drop, right? The third Dragon Ball was battled alongside a little warrior who saved Dende from the Doria. Since we have an event in the story mode where, who, which drops, guaranteed drops a Gohan kid, all you have to do is put him on a team and run any event in the game and you will get the third Dragon Ball, right? The fourth one was, is it possible to friend yourself? Now this one was a little tricky. A lot of people were, conf was, were confused. I was streaming at a time where this, uh, when this ball dropped. And uh, let me tell you, people were just, is this game bugged? What does it want me to do? And the, the thing is, you should uh, go to, sorry. You should go to your uh, friends menu and uh, search yourself. So go to the friend search and type in your own name here. So when you go, into the typing mode, you just copy the code that, that you see on the middle of your screen, right? And you got yourself the fourth star Dragon Ball. Boom. Um, the fifth one was... Uh, something's in my eye. <laughs> the fifth one was the Scatter had an abnormal reaction. Now, this one was pretty easy, uh, but I guess it was kind of not clear enough for some people. Uh, you, you were supposed to go to the summoning page and go click on the scouter on the right side. So the one that shows you the featured units of characters. And there he is, the beautiful uh, Gogeta, Goku Vegeta. And the six star Dragon Ball that was just uh, released yesterday. Uh, where, you can, where can you find a lot of awakening medals? That's like a really weak question. I mean, you can go to any Dokkan event, any story mode, and you will be able to find some Awakening Metals on the floor or just lying there, pick them up. But no, you were actually supposed to go and do complete one of the Battle for Awakening Metals. To find that, you need to go to your events and scroll down to go to the tab Growth. It's the second tab out of the four at the top. Uh, please game load <laughs> and the one at the very bottom is get awakening medals you are free to choose any 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 of these and it's really nice doing these once in a while you get you know sometimes you'll use a lot of metals and just you need to refill right and that's a good place to start all right and the seventh one the seventh one the one that we're doing today is on the home screen look for the banner marked with a question mark so to get the seventh one you see the little s scrolling banners at the bottom it's just that uh, it just shows Boruga Dende. Now it's Dual Dokkan Festival, right? So just go to that and swipe it all the way to the right. Just click it, click it, click, 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 click it, click, 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 click. It should be the one with a question mark. Uh, Nani. Well, that's what the hint says. Dragon Balls are hidden in the banners too. So let's try it again. Loading. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Uh, I'm missing something. <laughs> Flip Piccolo fails again. Bloopers guaranteed. Get them while they're hot. Nice to Roshi. Huh. 
Well, where is the seven Dragon Ball then? Just click this. Wow. All right. Well, I guess it was just the banner with it with the dragon on it. That gives you the seven Dragon Ball. Thank you guys for watching. Just kidding. Uh, all right. So we now have the seven Dragon Balls finally collected, and it's time to summon the Shenron. This is going to be exciting. This is the first time I've did that on global. So here goes. I do not know what that said. I guess is the, the sentence for, for summoning the channel, the secret code. You who possess the Dragon Balls, state your wishes. I will grant any three. Well, how about updating the friend, uh, the, the friend system? Uh, I want to activate the hidden potential. I want to uh, power up super attacks. I want treasure. I want to be filthy rich. I want to awaken allies. I want the sport items. I want the training items. Now here we come to a part when I tell you which one I think are the best. It's very easy. It is the first three. The first three, you don't have to think about it. You, it's not like second, fourth, and seven. It's just the first three, all right? Always pick for first three, and I'm gonna tell you why. First one will give you hidden potential orbs. Now. This is a resource in the game which is really not easily obtained. You can only do it once per day, sometimes on the weekends, re very rare, and sometimes the, the game will reward you with some special campaigns, but it's really rare. On world tournaments, you might also be able to get your hands on some, but they really come in like a small, small, uh, small um, amounts, and this is a really good time to, pack, uh, to fill yourself up with more hidden potential orbs so you can get the best out of your characters. These really make a difference if you got a do path in your character, even if you don't. Just put the free orbs in him. If it's a really good character, don't put these on just any character. Don't make the same mistakes as I did. Anyway, uh, the second wish is powering up super attacks. You will be getting a lot of Elder Kai's for this one. So, of course, getting the super attack up for your uh, for your units is really important. Some units cannot get that super their super attack farmed to uh, doing stages, so these will give you uh, grand Elder Kai's for each type of few Elder Kai's, which is really awesome. And the third wish is treasures. So that is actually 777, 777 incredible gems. Now how awesome is that? I could go for hours farming the uh, quest stages and not get even, I don't know, a hundred or something. So that saves you a lot of time of farming and incredible gems are super as I said, super uh, hard to get, and you can get awesome rewards from the Baba Shop by exchanging these incredible gems. You can get uh, some units that are only available there, you can get uh, Elder Kai's, you can get um, Awakening Medals if you want, and Hourglasses. Hourglasses are a very rare item as well. Um, it has, uh, it, it's really, it has a big impact uh, on the game. So, these first three wishes is something that I will be getting so click first click second and click third it's, uh just confirm dragon is very cute just it's okay <laughs> done received a bunch of potential orbs grand kai's and incredible gems awesome so there we go now we got the second set of wishes ready to be collected uh unfortunately there's no single so uh, there's no single <laughs> There's no signal, so tomorrow we'll see what the what the next hint is, and we start over again. We collect all the seven, do this again. The the set of wishes will be the same, so I will not be making future videos about what to pick. I will just be telling maybe uh, when when the set is complete, I will make another video explaining how to get the Dragon Balls because, like I said, um, it's nice to just summarize on everything. All right, uh, one more thing before we go. There's actually a Facebook campaign going on right now. It's called the Wishapunk Purunga Facebook Special Campaign. All you have to do is go to the official Facebook Dragon Ball Z Dokkan uh, battle page. If you don't have a Facebook, if you don't have a profile, just make one for free. Uh, it's really easy and you help out the, the Dokkan community by doing this. Um, all you have to do, uh, the, basically, the, the campaign is which of these two wishes do you want granted? So the first wish is 33 incredible gems and 10 stones, while the second uh, wish is hourglass and 10 dragon stones. Now, don't get this confused with the wishes that we just did. This is completely separate. This is just 
global gathering rewards just because, right? And, and the Facebook campaign uh, is asking which one of these do you want to get in your gift box for free. Uh, and it's going to end 18th of July. So that's in five days. So you have five days to do this. And to do what you have to actually do is hit the heart emoji or the laughing emoji uh, below this post. So all you have to do is put your finger on the like button and then go over to the wish you want uh, to the to the emoji you want to uh, say like which wish do you want to get I say go for the heart one because it's 33 incredible gems and you can get an hourglass for 30 gems so you're left over three gems which is uh, I don't know, not enough to buy anything really but it'll just you know serve as an extra um, and 10 dragon stones is the same so basically just go and heart this post whoops heart this post love it <laughs> there we go now um that pretty much sums up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you find it informative, please leave a like, leave a comment below, share it with your friends. I really want to um, do, do my best to inform the Dokkan Ball community about everything, uh, be more active in the Dokkan world. And I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, subscribe if you're new, of course, for more Dokkan Battle video content. I'll see you in the next video. Blue Pickle signing off. Peace. Why didn't you?